Hi everyone, welcome to my post and Happy New Year to everybody. In front of me I have a little project share. It is a hot air balloon. I've purchased the set of dyes from AliExpress. Um, this hot air balloon I have um, used paper from my stash um, to make this balloon along with some ribbons as well, some very uh, thin ribbon. I've created the bow out of paper clay from a mould also purchased from Ali a long time ago. Um, I've added lovely lace all around um, the bottom of the base of the balloon as well as a little bit around the edges and also on the basket piece itself. Um, on the top I've added some bead caps or finials um, just to finish off the top of the balloon for the um, ribbon to go through as a hanger. Um, it has a lovely little diamante one there as well um, of uh, a spacer bead in there as well. I would have the balloon hung up but it will be very hard to see. Um, the basket inside I've added um, a wooden bead purchased from AliExpress. Um, on that wooden bead I've um, placed some stickles to give it some shimmer and shine. A bit hard to see on camera but it does have some glittery um, bits on that bead back and front. Um, there is also uh, some foam into inside the basket to hold the bead in place in the center and to fill up that basket. Um, I've added also some handmade sequined flowers. These are four millimeter um, cup sequins that I have created um, and uh, there is a lovely site on YouTube by a Spanish lady who actually does step-by-step -step sequence and how to make these flowers but she uses an eight millimeter. Um, this is a, diff a, a, a well it is a method that she has created but I've chosen to do mine um, a little bit different um, hence they are so small and I've added three of those of my own. The bottom of the basket again, like I said, it has also some uh, lovely lace from my stash. I've added um, some very fine chain um, just on the basket, two of them, with some um, pearl, uh, well not pearl, but crystal drop beads on either side of that basket to give it some weight. It's not a very big die. It is a fairly small die, although the balloon may be quite comfortably comfortable size for, um, for the balloon. I did find that the basket was a little bit too small. But the size of the balloon itself, I'm not going to show you the overall size of what I created because if you wish to purchase this set, you may want to variate the length of the, um, the, the ribbon or whatever you choose to use for dangling the basket a little bit longer if you want to. The balloon itself is approximately around um, 12 and a half centimetres which is roughly about five inches in in the height and in the width it stands um, approximately around 11 centimetres which is just over four and a quarter inches. And the basket makeup is approximately uh, maybe the three centimeters, which is just under one and a half inches, by um, approximately two centimeters, which is just under um, an inch, roughly. Okay, so that's that's that uh, balloon that I've created. And I think it really is quite sweet. And this is the die set to create that 3D balloon. Um, it comes with all these pieces. Um, I had a bit of a hard time putting it together simply because um, as you place the panel pieces to make the formation of the balloon, it tends to curl in and it's kind of hard to 
to try and match it up without breaking all the other panels apart. Even if I did use double-sided tape, I still had a hard time. So what I found the easiest point for me was to use a glue gun. You might not be able to have the difficulty that I did, but I, I certainly did have that difficulty. Um, I found that these pieces here, this edge piece here, which is the flaps, need to be folded along the line. Um, but um, every time I kept placing it, it was sort of kind of like popping out in some areas. Um, um, it would be really nice if those were a little bit longer. But um, it... it all in all, it did work, but it, it did take a little bit of patience to get all seven flaps um, uh, joined together very slowly as you go ahead and glue them. I, Like I said, I ended up using a glue gun. That was easier for me. This is the base parts, and this here is the overlay um, where you cut out a lovely piece of designer paper or coloured paper if you want to and just overlay that piece there on top. So you have two of those ones, okay? So you cut seven panels of, of both sets. This piece here forms the basket. Um, this is quite quite small. Um, I found it a little tiny, a little bit smaller than I, I thought it would be, but that's okay, you know, it worked out in the end. Um, there are seven panels on this one, and all you do is just cut it out and join the flap to this side, the flap, and fold the panels little bit in to make that sort of like a, a pentagram or heptagon kind of shape and of course the flaps to fold down to make the base of the panel and this is also the piece that goes in the bottom that is the bottom part of the basket so we'll join them all together along with that panel comes this set here and that's seven in there and that's the overlay for a nice coloured paper or designer paper to go on top of those squares to decorate the basket and of course you have the lace border edge as well if you so want to decorate the top of it as well um, then comes along this panel here these here um, I believe are strips um, there's seven of these to be cut and those strips there I believe is to hide the joints of the balloon on each panel so that's what it is there it's to hide the joints of the balloon there's this piece here which I I I used to um, place on the top of my balloon to thread the um, the ribbon through it's also to hide whatever the joint is on the top um, there is space there for the ribbon or string to go through if you so wish and that's what I did underneath the filigree I've added a paper cut out of this shape here in there um, as well as adding it inside um, the basket just in here before I put my um, my foam in there then there are these scalloped looking edges again um, I cut seven of these um, of these pieces here there's four of them but I've cut seven um, to was it seven I think it is yes yeah, seven one two three four five six yeah, seven <laughs> and uh, it's just to use them as a scallop decoration around the biggest part of my balloon to give it like looking like a, a ribbon effect and of course I put lace underneath mine so that's what it is there it also came with this circle which I did not use I had I felt I had no need for it although I could be wrong it might be there for a purpose but I wasn't so sure but I didn't use it anyway so that's what came in that set as well so that completes the set of what um, I used to make up the balloon um, whether that was the intention of those panels I don't know but it, I certainly used them to do it to make the balloon myself the way I I, I figured it might might as well look like um, like I said, the only thing I was a little bit disappointed was the fact that um, the basket was a tiny bit smaller for the balloon itself. It was kind of, it looked it looked okay as the balloons um, being the size of the balloon, but the basket was the only thing I found was just a fraction kind of, um, well, different for me. I found it for my liking was a bit small. Um, considering the whole of the balloon was quite large and the basket was quite tiny 
put inside the building. <laughs> but overall, it's quite a cute little thing to make. I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's really a lovely little little design. Um, so um, I hope you like my, my post. Um, so this concludes it. <laughs> um, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next time with another post. Until then, bye-bye.